Hey, what's going on guys? I have an exciting update for you all regarding the Toys and Tanks contest, which is currently ongoing, just recently announced, where we want you guys to use the Kotobukiya Nachin kits or the Kotobukiya Maro Toys kits. You have to choose one of those categories for this custom build contest. If you guys missed the announcement, you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can go back and check out the full announcement video. I'll have a link to that down below as well. A couple of exciting points on that. Just number one, Kotobukiya. We're sponsoring all the prizes, so we have a whole bunch of awesome Kotobukiya model kits up for grabs uh, for the contest prizes. The designers of those two properties, Miz for the Maro Toys side, Moisan for the uh, Nachin side will be joining as guest judges for those categories. So really cool, exciting stuff. Hope that you guys are excited about that. I noticed that we've got a lot of entry emails coming in already. So thank you guys for uh, all the interest so far. But I do have another exciting announcement, which I hope will be pleasing news for a lot of you guys. One uh, quick thing to mention before we get into that though, a couple people had asked me if you can use the Kotobukiya Roku kits as for the Nachin kits, and the answer is yes. That's all, it doesn't have Nachin in the name, but it's still kind of a part of the whole Nachin property, the uh, Roku design. So yes, you can use that. Just like on the Maro Toys side, you can use the Nosaru, the Tamotu, the recently released Mamoru any of those as long as it's a Kotobukiya Maro Toys model kit and alternatively as long as it's a Kotobukiya Nachin uh, model kit you can use all those so any of those model kits are fine for your base kit. A couple people had asked about that so I thought I would clarify. Anyway the news for you guys uh, which is good news for those of you who maybe are more uh, to the beginner side of modeling or maybe you're just more into like model kit photography because I'm going to be adding categories in here uh, for photography. So this will not require you to paint. If you want to enter in the contest uh, just by doing some cool photography, not actually painting again, entering in kind of like the main contest. So it's sort of like a, a sub contest among this. So basically uh, what we want you guys to do is to just choose one of the kits like the same, but you don't have to enter in the same way. Basically, just take a photo that you would like to enter for the contest and send it into the email contest at usags.com and then just kind of make clear that it's for the uh, photo contest so that it's not all getting confused. I'll try to keep everything organized on my side, but you can help me out by just making it very clear. So uh, otherwise, how you're going to basically plan your photo, uh, again, we want you to choose either one or the other. So choose as like your main subject, either one of the notching kits or one of the Mara Toys kits. Don't have both in one because then I'll have to, you know, choose which side it's going to go to. Uh, they're going to be judged uh, separately. So choose one as the main kit. You can also include other kits in there. So say, for example, if you had the uh, Maro Toys uh, Noseru kit and you also wanted to include one of the Frame Arms Girl kits or something with that, you can do that as well. You can include multiple kits. So again, as long as they're like multiple Maro Toys kits together or multiple Nachin kits together or a Nachin kit and some other kits together, that's fine. You can do the photo, you know, like very artistic or you can make it kind of more exciting, flashy. You can make it kind of funny and cute, whatever you guys want to do. Do some cool photography and enter that in. Now, a couple things also to add. You can do like a minor touch up, but not adding like a bunch of like effects afterwards because then that kind of, uh, we want it to be focused on like just photography uh, and not your ability to then uh, ad adjust or enhance the photo by adding a whole lot of effects and everything afterwards. So any effects that you guys are doing, you can do certainly in camera, you know, with like with actual smoke or, you know, dust or fire or whatever you want to do in the photo, you can include that, but it has to be in camera. So otherwise, as far as like editing goes, just editing, you know, like lighting touch up, stuff like that, just kind of like normal, uh, that is allowed. So that's pretty much it. We wanted to make kind of uh, an ad like an ad additional, not necessarily category, but like I said, sort of like a sub contest in here for those of you guys uh, who maybe aren't feeling as, you know, more uh, as advanced in your modeling skills. Uh, but you want to build a model and participate in the contest and then maybe this gives you a way to do that um, that is maybe more geared toward your skill set if you've got some skills in photography. So you're certainly welcome to try and enter. We are going to have some prizes uh, here, of course, as well. So let me just talk about that. Basically, we're going to have one winner on each side. So we'll choose uh, one Mara Toys photo winner, uh, one Nachin photo winner. And so we've got one prize uh, for each. One of the prizes is going to be the Megami Device AUV Amaterasu Regalia. That one's uh, also, again, supplied by Kotobukiya. The other prize is going to be the 
Megami device AUV Susanobo. That one is actually going to be provided by a friend of the channel, Patrick. So again, a big thank you to Patrick uh, for donating that very awesome kit to be one of the prizes here for the contest. So I hope that gives you guys some good news. Those of you guys who would be interested in participating in a photo contest rather than the actual building and customization contest. Now, if you want to ask, can you enter both? Uh, I want you guys to choose one or the other, you know, leave the photo contest for those folks who, you know, want to enter just the photo contest. If you do want to like actually build, paint, customize, you know, enter in like the full on uh, contest, you enter into that one. So choose one or the other. And as for if you want to enter the photo contest, but you also want to paint and or customize the kit in some way, you can, but it won't necessarily help you as we won't necessarily be focusing that much on it. Now, say for example, if you paint the kit very poorly, uh, that may make the photo, you know, not that attractive. Obviously, we're just gonna be looking at the photography. So, I mean, you want to present the kit in a way that the kit looks good. It shouldn't have like some really nasty nub marks on it. So we will be taking the build into consideration. The primary focus will just be on the photography aspect of it. But I mean, you do still have to make the kit look good is ideal. So. Uh, just something to keep in mind for that. But yeah, we do want you guys to just enter either one or the other. Like I said, this is just a way to uh, allow uh, more people to participate in the contest in a different way. Uh, but for those of you guys who are already working on some custom builds, I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody's builds. Like I said, I'm seeing a lot of entries coming in. So it's awesome to see that there's so many of you guys interested in participating in these contests. I know that these model kit lines aren't uh, as like mainstream as Gumpa. They're a little bit more obscure, uh, but I think it's really cool to check out uh, you know, different stuff from time to time. So I think it's a good opportunity for you guys to try something different if you've not built any of these model kits before. So yeah, looking forward to seeing what you guys are gonna come up with. That's it for this announcement. If you guys have further questions, of course, feel free to let me know. The deadline is gonna be exactly the same. We're uh, still having the same deadline of May, March, 31st, the end of March, so you still have plenty of time uh, to enter if you would like to enter. So yeah, like I said, if you have questions, let me know. But for now, guys, thanks so much for your attention. Thanks so much for checking out the video. And of course, if you guys still need a kit and you would like to enter the contest, uh, you can check out the link down in the video description below to USA Gundam Store. It's not a requirement that you buy the kit from USA Gundam Store by any means. But if you would like to enter and you need a kit or you need some Kotobukiya, like MSG option parts or whatever else you might need, paint, or whatever, you can get it at USA Gundam Store, so the link is down below. Check that out. Thank you guys so much. Till next time, have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.